methane methane gas plus O2 gas. Remember, we can only take one mole of methane because the the definition of standard enthalpy change of combustion is for one mole of a substance. This gives us carbon dioxide plus water, right? So if you see, um, this will be one mole of. Let's balance this equation. So the total number of oxygens is this. Excess oxygen, so the number of moles of oxygen can be any, but the number of moles of the substance that is being burnt in oxygen should be 1. Now, um, the, so this will be the standard enthalpy change of combustion of, of methane gas. So, uh, in the example of carbon forming carbon dioxide, that will be both the standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon and the standard enthalpy change of formation of CO2 because it fits both de definitions. But in the case of CH4, it will be only one of them. Okay. Now, um, this uh, this is denoted by delta H naught. Standard enthalpy change of combustion is denoted by delta H naught C. Standard enthalpy change of neutralization. Now, the standard enthalpy change of neutralization is the enthalpy change when one mole of water is formed by the reaction of an acid and an alkali under standard conditions. Now, this is very obvious. This is denoted by delta H naught um, N, delta H naught N, and then you, uh, you can write an equation HCl plus H2O. So not sorry, not HCl plus H2, HCl plus NaOH, acid plus alkali, HCl plus NaOH. Yes, NaCl plus H2. Don't forget the state symbols. So HCl. Uh, so you can see one mole of water is being formed. So the enthalpy change accompanying this reaction is the standard enthalpy change of neutralization. Okay, now. The standard enthalpy change of solution. So the standard enthalpy change of solution is when one mole of a solute is dissolved in excess water to form an infinitely dilute solution under standard conditions. So the water, so uh, in, by infinitely dilute, infinitely dilute means that the concentration is zero mole per dm cube. Now this is practically not possible because like even if you add a small amount of solute in water, it will have a concentration, right? The concentration cannot be zero. but we take uh, infinitely dilute solution is therefore a theoretical concept that the amount of water used is so large that even after dissolving the solute, the concentration of the solute is zero. So this is a theoretical concept. Now this is denoted by delta H naught sol. Delta H naught sol. So for example, if we take NaCl solid, and we dissolve it, uh, dissolve it in excess water to get NaCl aqueous. Then the enthalpy change is the enthalpy change of solution of uh, NaCl. And then the standard enthalpy change of atomization. This is the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous atoms is formed from its element under standard conditions. So, for example, one mole of gaseous atoms. So this, so for example, when we are forming Cl atoms from Cl2 then this will be the this will be the form, formula this will be the equation for the standard enthalpy change of atomization of Cl2 because we are forming one mole of Cl uh, uh, gaseous Cl atoms from the element similarly for sodium it will be Na solid giving us Na gas this will be the standard enthalpy change of atomization of sodium from from sodium in its elemental state we are forming gaseous atoms right now, this is denoted by delta H naught ATM. Standard enthalpy change of hydration of an anhydrous salt. This is the enthalpy change when one mole of a hydrated salt is formed from one mole of the anhydrous salt under standard conditions. So, this is denoted by delta H naught height. So, this will be uh, let's just erase this in the bottom. So an example will be we take iron sulfate FeSO4 solid. This is the anhydrous salt plus 5H2O liquid giving us FeSO4 
dot you remember how do we you remember how we write hydrated salts we write the the compound